What is going on guys? Little video today to celebrate 1,000 subscribers. Uh, it's been a long road. Uh, definitely don't post enough like I should. But anyways, I want to like thank you guys. Um, you know, I definitely got a little bit more views and likes on some of my uh, Lexus videos. And I appreciate that. I appreciate all the support, all the comments, all the likes, the subscribers. Um, but uh, basically right now we're going to my shop. I want to do a couple little things. Uh, basically my exhaust is like super sketch. Um, it hangs, it dangles, and it bangs on the tranny tunnel, and it just makes a bunch of noise. I also just picked up a Tomei knob, so I'm probably going to put that on right now just because my current knob is a quick release, clearly. But um, So I want to do that, and then I got to jack up the car, get under it, see what's leaking because something's leaking. Um, I don't know if it's oil or tranny oil or fluid, so I got to check that out, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys some pulls in the car some burnouts some donuts and hopefully it's a badass video if you guys uh you know like the car like the content go ahead and subscribe give me a like let me know what you guys want to see and uh hope you enjoy first things first get this tome knob on oh boy all my folks know about this little trick right here Ah, there we go. A little Duracon shift knob. Cheap little knob. I think it was like 30 or 40 bucks. But this one is supposed to actually screw on to my, uh, to my freaking short shifter. So go ahead and get that off. A little freshy. Still going to put the badge on. Let's see. Oh, snap, boy. Look at that. I opted for the black one. I think they had a couple colorways, but black is just nice and subtle and looks good. So, the Tomei action. Drop that guy right there. Cool. Now I gotta get this uh, protective film off. That's scratching the hell out of it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, snap. Oh, what? The, oh, okay. Yeah, look at that. Now I can bang some gears. Hell yeah. I just got to my uh, mess of a shop. Uh, first things first, forgot to mention I got a Hallman boost controller. So I'm going to be putting that thing in right now. Um, it's got this like fucking Home Depot special boost controller right here. And to me, that is no bueno. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change that out, find a good spot for it, and put it in. All right, so I got the car jacked up somewhat. Um, I got the manual boost controller in. Guess I could show you guys that first. Um, no really good spot to put it over here. So I put it right down there. Nice little spot hidden. And uh, this is why I wanna fix the exhaust, cause you know, one little tap. This thing makes so much noise. You get under here, it hits everywhere. All right guys, not too sure if you can hear me, but uh, had a little bit of a predicament. Um, so ended up putting in the boost controller. You guys saw that, looks great. Uh, accidentally turned it up a little bit too much. So my first ride out, I hit like 22 pounds and it was still going. Anyways, um, I fixed my exhaust. Kind of half ass kind of not. Uh, I do plan on redoing the whole exhaust. I did kind of like a little bootleg uh, exhaust hanger, but it works really well. Um, I haven't actually heard it like bounce around at all. So uh, that's pretty sick. That, that definitely uh, makes me feel a little bit better driving this thing. It doesn't sound like a pile of fucking bolts. Anyways, I was driving to my buddy's house so I could re-glue uh, re, re my back tire because it keeps losing air. And the car kept kind of like, it, it kept hitting like some bridge spots. Um, I did take a little bit of a video, but it, it's kind of hard to tell in the video itself. But on the on the wide band, you can you can clearly see it. You know, hit like 11, just cruising like I am right now at 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, and it just randomly just like boop, like hit hit 10 o uh, AFRs, and you could feel it. It felt like shit. And uh, sometimes the car would kind of almost like load up. I'm not really sure why. But um, after I had some wiring issues a little while ago that you guys haven't seen, um, I, I got it sorted out. The car's been running 
great. But I put in some BKR 7Es, which are a copper plug, gapped them to 28 thousandths. And uh, after that, that's when I started noticing that kind of like weird, not really misfire, but like rich spot. Um, I guess it could technically be a misfire, but um, anyways, I went home, I put in my old Iridiums that I had in this car. They were like brand new. They had like 200 miles on them. Put those back in, we're driving it. So far, so good. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's fixed, but you know, it, it hasn't dipped down weird at all yet. So I guess we're just driving, keep an eye on the FRs. And if it does, we're gonna go, go back to the tuner and just shoot for more power and get that sorted out. But uh, car runs great regardless, you know, full power. It's when I'm rolling into it, it's fine. AFRs are perfect, so it's just like that mid-range, it's, it's kind of odd, but we're going to figure it out, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, go fix my uh, leaky tire, and 